All right, guys, welcome back to the Scan Tool Network. We are back now with another video for this X Tool D7. Uh, I'm going to pop a link to this kit in the description below this video. You will find the genuine and official uh, link in the description, and I'll also pop a discount code where you'll get 8% off as well. Um, so, in the last video that I did on this tool, it was like a 21 things that you need to know, everything you need to know about the tool, uh, but we couldn't find the the uh, part where you do the live data and the actuation test because uh, we just needed to do a quick update on the tool uh, and make sure that the latest software was on here which we've now done so now I'm in a position now to show you some live data and also some actuation tests from this particular tool itself uh, so what we'll do is we'll just go through the uh, the diagnosis menu and we're going to select our manufacturer which is Porsche and then we're going to go manual selection it's a Porsche Macan just click yes to that and system selection so let's say we wanted some live data first of all well I'm gonna go live data from the you can get live data from any system but the best thing to show you is say like the engine system where there's lots of different uh, sections within the engine system where you can pick up live data uh, so you've got like oil pressures camshaft adjustments temperatures um, like this one here for example you can see lots of different temperatures for different sensors and different parts of the engine itself uh, what you can do is you can also get graphing data as well um, so another thing we another th quite a popular one is the uh, the, the PD uh, sorry the DB, DPF so there's the DPF here so you can get like particle filter suit rate um, diesel particulate filter bank one and it gives you lots of different values you can get the ash volume the total ash volume which is showing right there so lots of different dpf information and this will give you this type of information for any vehicle not just a porsche um, so there's lots of different live live sensors you can uh, do live data but also one i wanted to show you as well as something like uh, the actuation test so if you want to like component testing you want to test a component to make sure it's working okay so uh, i'm going to go to front end no i'm not i'm going to go to passenger's door for example and then we can go actuation test so loads in so what you can do is you've now got uh, different options to actuate so test to make sure they work so for example we go lower power windows so we can click on start it should do lower power windows click on start and although you won't be able to see this click next and you can probably hear that the power window has just gone down on the flip side of that we can go back and we can go actuation test for the we can raise power window so we start that and click next and the windows just gone up there so that's a, a quick video showing you how to do like component testing but you can do component testing uh, and the actuation tests on like lots of different systems as well uh, that was just like a, a one end we got like um, rear lid let's see if it'll open it uh, it's not might, might need to go to a different section for that might be like rear end electronics or something like that but um, there we go lots of different systems and of course this is just for Porsche so like you get lots of different sections and lots of different menus depending on what vehicle you're in you see um, so these is just a lot more of them there we go so that's just a quick example of the X2 legacy I've, I've done a uh, much more in-depth fuller review of this tool on the uh, the other video on this channel so if you want to go ahead and check that out it's like everything you need to know before you buy the X Tool D7 um, so thanks for watching and I hope this uh, video is useful